Good morning, Indian Hills. Dr. Christensen here with your Monday message. Today is Monday. It's April Fool's Day. I just remembered that I didn't set up an April Fool's for you, but maybe I have. You won't know. April Fool's Day. Can you believe it's April already? That is awesome. Today, you're going to do a zone check. You're going to have Mindful Monday. Um, I hope you're really thinking about these mindful activities we're taking you through, that you can get on YouTube and find any kind of mindful um, video anytime you need it, when you want to try to calm or just be conscious of where what you're doing right now. Today, it's going to be about how you calm and slow down your racing mind. Mindfulness is really important, and I hope you're taking time to um, use these techniques that we're teaching you. The lesson for today um, is also about thoughts, emotions, and decisions. How our thoughts lead to an emotion, and the emotion leads us to a decision, and sometimes that decision is not the right decision, and we need to go back to our thoughts. So we'll talk about that a little bit today. Tuesday is English, Encore. Wednesday in your second step, you're going to talk about, in seventh grade, um, conflicts and perspectives. People can have a lot of different perspectives, and that's why it's important to talk through a conflict to see that maybe you really are on the same page arguing about something that you don't need to be arguing about. In eighth grade, also recognizing each other's perspectives. It's also an elective encore day, so you might get called down for any of your wheel classes or Spanish, any of your electives. Thursday is Science Encore, and Friday you're going to sign up for Career Day, which is next week on Wednesday. We have an all-star lineup coming. You're going to be able to choose who you want to go uh, watch speak. Um, this is a great day. Um, we're excited for it. Mr. Sinram and our CPI, which is our committee for parent involvement, have been working really hard to have this day be great for you. We're also going to start um, we still are doing truancy, so we're still, I'm sorry, we're still doing our tardies this week. There still will be a tardy party today. Our tardies went down from five pages to one page. That's how much better we're doing with tardies. Congratulations, everybody. We're trying to find ways to let you know that you're doing the right thing. We're rewarding you for being to class on time. Uh, there's been some extra things that you've been able to win at the PBIS store. We'll still have a random tardy party so continue to get to class on time. It makes a difference. It makes a difference. Uh, we're going to start a reading booster, reading and recommendations booster is what I'm calling it, on Friday. When you have a reading book and you have time to read and you read, you're going to earn points. If you get done early and you have recommendations on IXL and either math or English and you work on those recommendations, you can earn points. If on your diagnostic test for reading or math, you have a single score in your diagnostic, which means it has assessed you to know exactly where you are. You can earn points. Um, and I hope that math and English will give many points for that. Whereas if you have a band, it says, ah, eh, you're somewhere between here and here. We want to know exactly where you are. If you get there, show your teacher, they're going to give you at least 10 points. Okay. So that's what we're going to be starting on starting Friday. On Friday, we also are going to have some time to learn a little bit more about perfectionism. And so that's my message for today is on perfectionism. Perfectionism is a bad thing. Uh, we think we aspire to be perfect. Here's the deal that we all know. You will never be perfect. I will never be perfect. I've messed up in this video already. Guess what? I'm not upset about it. This is exactly what I want from the video, and so I'm not going to beat myself up about it. Perfectionism leads us to depression, anxiety, anger. Perfectionism is not a good thing. Instead, we need to set an expectation for our performance and work hard and aspire to get better and then reach what we wanted to accomplish for that goal. And so it doesn't have to be perfect because it's not going to be. You think of any high-performing athlete or musician or actor or actress, they're continuing to get better. They're never perfect. So why do we think we should be? 
some of us think, well, I'm not going to try because I, I'm not going to be able to do it perfect. So I'm not even going to try. That's a problem with perfectionism too. Where are you now? Do your best. Give your effort. Have a growth mindset. You can get a little bit better every time. You can do well, but you don't do well if you don't even try. And if perfectionism is getting in our way, or we think we have to be perfect or we're not good enough, that hurts us. Knock perfectionism off your shoulder. It doesn't need to exist. Have a high, pick your level of performance that you want to aspire to and go work at it. And then even, you know what, when you get there, you might find you're even better than you thought you were. Okay? Perfectionism, go away. Thinking I can do it, thinking I can perform at a high level, yes, I can do that. All right, Dr. C, signing out. Go Tigers!